Hello sports fans and welcome to day four of the Planet Zoo World Championship. We're back at the Gulpi Arena and today we're all about ball sports. Yesterday was the aquatics trials and a little movement on the leaderboard there. Africa still firmly on top but also South America securing second place with their first gold medal. Today we'll see if that leadership can be narrowed, if Europe can catch up with South America or if any team has what it takes to catch up with Africa. Our first event today is Fall Ball. There's six platforms set up here, one for each team. The objective being each team has three minutes to knock off as many balls from their platform as possible. So, taking part in this event, we have Red Kangaroo for Oceania, Giant Anteater for South America, Grizzly Bear for North America, Indian Elephant for Asia, Polar Bear for Europe, and West African Lion representing Africa. All right, let's get started. Three minutes on the clock, all animals are poised to start the obliteration of the balls. That's an early lead by our kangaroo. Good wide sweep there across the playing field. Indian Elephant nudging a few here or there. Not aggressive enough to knock any off though. Need to focus their mind. Put a bit of welly into it. A lion has secretly scored while we were looking at the elephants. Three down for lions so far. No joy with the polar bear. Was expecting more from them, if I'm honest. And that's one for the anteater. When did they score that one then? No change over with the kangaroo. I think that initial burst of energy has tired them out. Similar story over with the grizzly bear. They've basically cleared a space for them to sleep and that's it. No balls down yet. Anteater seems to be given another try. They're quite passive though in how they're interacting with the balls, so unless they pick up pace. Oh, hang on. No, this seems to have worked out. That's another score for Antita. And a nice backhand there with the tail. A few more shots like that could earn them a medal. Is this going to be another one here? The balls are moving. That one there going to go off the edge? No. No joy for the polar bear, unfortunately. They've not got the motivation, I don't think. Maybe they're just not used to the heat here. <laughs> think our lion's going for a big push. They're moving a lot of them. Now, that is how you do it. Multiple balls in the same hit. Now, if all the other animals follow suit. Oh, bit of a jump there. And one more ball. Lion doing extremely well here. Another great multi-ball drop. They're really getting into the mix of the balls here. Africa coming out top once again, looks like. Yep, Africa now in the lead. And a sneaky first ball down for Elephant. Nearly missed that one. Grizzly Bear taking an interest, but still no balls down for North America. This going to be another one for Africa? Yep. Another ball down for Africa. We've got movement for the Anteater. Was that powerful enough? Come on. Yay, there we go. Another one down. How's our Grizzly doing? Oh, oh, okay. So Grizzly has scored while we weren't watching. Typical. First ball's down and we missed it. Any more coming? Close, but not quite. Right, while our attention was elsewhere, the kangaroo field has exploded. How did you do that? They've gone up to 23 balls down. Can't believe we missed that. And with so little time left, I think it's safe to say that Oceania has won this round. Yep, indeed, there we go. Don't blame the bear looking a bit forlorn about that. Not the greatest performance for North America there. So let's take a look at the scores. By a wide margin, Oceania have got their first gold medal. Well done, Red Kangaroo. Coming in second is Africa. So good effort, but not a gold here. And finally, with a valiant effort there, Giant Antita takes the bronze. Next up for round eight is golfing. Now, we've got three courses with an animal from each continent taking part. This is another time challenge, so animals will be judged on how long it takes them to get the ball in the cup, with their time for each course consolidated for a final score. Up first playing for Oceania is the red kangaroo. Nice strong legs on the kangaroo, giving them an advantage if they make good contact with the ball. They fluffed up a little there, but I think they've saved it with another nudge. Starting to roll down the fairway. Not great in terms of speed. 
but they're catching up. Are they going to give it another hit? Yep, and that's added a good final spin for a last bit of momentum. Nice job, Kangaroo. On to hole two. Hole two has less of an incline and there are some obstacles in the way. Good start. Decent contact there. Bit sporadic on the movement, though. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> You've hit it the wrong way. Well, how are you going to get out of this one, then? I think they're taking a run up. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> go straight past then. Ah, run up from the wrong way. Silly kangaroo. Although, it is turning. Not the method I would have taken, but at least it is moving. Oh, hello. Coming in for another boot. Now that worked. Although we've definitely lost momentum now. So, what's the plan, kangaroo? I think their energy's spent. Leave it to fate, eh? The ground isn't exactly level here, so it should carry it forward. Gravity and all that. Okay, last push. And it's in. Bit of a mixed bag there, really, for hole two. Right, on to hole three. A shorter course, this one, but need to watch out for the sand traps. We're off, but missing the ball completely. Deary me, that was a bad shot. Try again. Much better. Wow, that's a good one. And a follow-on shot. Oh, he's celebrating there. This is a great run with some excellent ball contact. Some slowdown at the end here, but the rest was handled like a pro. Well done, kangaroo. Up next, we have the Anteater for South America. Anteater, likely one of our weaker players today. They don't have the bulk, they don't have the speed, and they certainly don't have legs like the kangaroo. More of a nudge on the ball there than a push. Oh, and it's not enough to get it down the hill. We'll cut back when they get to their second attempt. Now, this is still not direct contact, but it's much quicker. Hopefully it stays on course here. Looking good. Looking good. Just need to push over that edge. There we go. Well done. Good effort. Now on to course two. Or not. They're sitting down. Oh. Anteater. <laughs> They're having a sleep. Right, another jump cut it is then. Finally awake. Are we going to get a hit on this one? Yep. Oh, that was nice. They did it with their nose. Not fantastic on the speed front, but it was worth a try. Good job, Antita. Another gravity-aided roll here. And rebound from the side. Almost there. Another successful result. On to hole three. Let's see what we get here. Oh, and straight off. That's an animal with purpose. Looks like Antita finally got the hang of this. We are back to the old slow roll again. But it was a successful hit, can't deny that. And there we go. A somewhat moderate performance for Antita there. Anyway, up next is the Grizzly Bear for North America. Fingers crossed they do better than the last round. Somewhat of a slow start, not boding well. Here we go, is it a nudge or a kick? Oh, the little paw movement there. That was brilliant. And that's a really fast run. You have surpassed expectations, Bear. Well done. Well done. Now, can they repeat that performance for hole two? Again, pretty slow start, but... <laughs> oh, that paw push. It's perfect. Yep, another pretty stellar performance by the Grizzly Bear here. This could be a first gold medal for North America. Wouldn't that be nice? Just that total engagement with the ball really makes a difference. One last push and a trick shot at the end there. Great performance. All right, last hole. Can they keep up the winning streak? Here we go. Ah, oh, no poor action this time. Just a nudge. I don't think the heart's in this one. That's a shame. They did so well on the other two courses. Can't win them all, I guess. Slow roll to the finish there. But overall, Grizzly Bear has done super well. I think they're in line for a gold there. So up for Asia, we have the Indian Elephant. Their size should certainly play in their favour. These guys can also hit pretty hard when they want to with the balls. Yeah, there we go. Just a little nudge and the ball's on a roll. And at a better speed than we've seen with some of the competitors. Nice straight shot too. 
Okay, there we go. Well done, elephant. That was a good first go. So hole two. Hopefully they don't have problems getting around those blockades. Slow start again. But that's an actual throw. Oh, that's good. Ooh, and a bit of a stampede. Looks like we're getting a bit of action. Uh, getting stuck on the wall there. Oh, bit of a squeeze. <laughs> oh, no. Squashing that ball into submission. That may have slowed them down a bit, though. Maybe they should have left it with the first throw. Yeah, we're back to slow descent to the hole. Just a bit further. Brilliant. Another decent performance there. Right, on to hole three. So, a throw or another nudge? That's a nudge, I think. Oh, not the angle that they want there. That's heading straight for the sand trap. Uh-oh, that's going to cause some issues. We'll have to wait for them to try again to get that out. Go on, give it a welly. Good effort. And I think I think that was a throw, so that firm push has unwedged it. Yeah, here we go. Slow decline. Now, what angle does that have the ball going at? Uh, don't, don't go straight into the other sand trap. That would be tragic. I think we're safe. Angling a little bit more towards the hole. Yeah, we're safe. Oh, good save, elephant there. I think we're home free now. There we go. Well done. Time for the reindeer to step up for Europe. And a speedy start. No messing around here. That's a solid effort. Certainly one of the faster shots for this course. Great job, reindeer. You're off to a good start here. Yep, nice effort. Okay, on to course two. So, certainly not the speed that we saw in the first course. Yep, that's just a nudge there. So, not an intentional hit, just a happy accident. It still counts, but it means that the ball certainly goes a lot slower. And our reindeer here, they're not moving with any significant purpose at all. This is just a nice stroll in the park for them, I think. There we go. Moderate effort, but the ball still went in. So, on to round three. And this certainly looks like a repeat performance there. Yeah, just nudging the ball. So, unfortunately, Reindeer hasn't got that much interest, but they will get the ball through by default. It's just whether their nudge is quicker than some of the other animals that nudge the balls as well. I think it was a little quicker than some. Anyway, this brings us on to the last animal taking part today, the West African Lion. And they're straight off at high speed. A good kick there that should give them a winning shot. Let's see. A little bit of a slowdown at the end there, so Grizzly Bear might still be ahead. Still a great effort there. Well done, Lion. Let's move on to hole two. Right. Oh, a slow start. Definitely not the speed we saw in the first one. I do think that was an intentional nudge, though. Oh yeah, there we go, a bit of speed. Helping that ball along the fairway. It is nice when the animals get involved like that. Shows their commitment to win. Here we go, another push. Oh, I think that hindered more than help though. Never mind, it's still a very good effort again from the lion. Some speed early on, it just slowed down near the end. I'm happy with that. On to the final run for this round. All right, do us proud, lion. No, oh, don't go to sleep. Well, that screwed up their chances. You were so close as well. Stiff competition for the grizzly bear before this. Right, let's try that again. Boom, that's what we like to see. What a kick there. Brilliant. Now, if you'd done that without going to sleep first, that would have been a great score. Not a completely bad effort though, Lion. Well done. So, with all competitors completing their runs, let's take a look at the scores. A huge congratulations to the Grizzly Bear that has earned North America its first gold medal. So, well done there. Second place is African Lion. I think we all knew that was coming. And in third place with the bronze is the Reindeer. Now, I wasn't expecting that. I thought the Indian Elephant might have done a little better. Anyway, with golfing complete, let's take a look at the overall leaderboard. Africa still miles ahead with so many gold medals. What's that up to now? Five gold medals. They just can't be beat. South America still holding on in second place. And then we've got a little bit of a change up here now. Oceania and North America sitting in third and fourth place because they got their gold medals. And gold medals take precedence over silver and bronze. So that's dropped Europe down from third place to fifth. 
Let's see if they can catch up in day five, which is coming tomorrow. Bit of a mixed bag for the events coming up tomorrow, so I'll leave that as a surprise. I really hope you enjoyed the bull rounds today. The golf particularly was an absolute nightmare to set up, so I do hope it was worth the effort. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.